This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation, specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e-learning to instructor-led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Now we're going to take a look at using the Windows Advanced Firewall, uh, or Firewall with Advanced Security Snap-in, rather, to monitor IPSEC, the security associations that we can use, uh, and the different things that we can do. Let's take a look here. We're going to just open up the Firewall Snap-in. Okay, Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. And what we're going to find is that you do have a monitoring section. Now, the monitoring section does include the firewall rules. It does include the ability to just view active connection security rules, see the, uh, the different endpoints, okay, in this case, a range on one, and then uh, the whole uh, just my address on the other, see the authentication methods, the protocols, the endpoints, and so that's one way. But more, uh, more applicable is probably the security associations. Okay? Main mode is the key exchange, quick mode, the actual data protection. Now notice here, and, I, and unfortunately I don't have anything uh, to actually see, but we can look at the headings and see what we would see. We would see the remote address, the local address, your authentication method that you used, the encryption level, the signing algorithm, and other information about the key exchange. Whereas in quick mode, local address, remote, port numbers, remote port, AH integrity, ESP integrity, and ESP encryption. So basically just statistics on each of, uh, each of those. Okay? You, have, you have that in the past. You've had IPsec uh, monitor. Okay, that's only for Windows 2000, um, but that would be the name of it, MMC. Uh, you can also add and remove uh, the IP security uh, snap-in. Okay, so IP security monitor, IP security policy management. Now, you might use this just because you're more familiar with it. It's possible I use that simply because, uh, or also, um, excuse me, because um, I have older clients. You can see the active policy, but see, notice here, uh, we're not using these policies. We didn't use GPOs because Windows Vista and later use a different mechanism. They use connection security rules. But if you're in a mixed environment, you might be using group policies to apply it. So this would show you the active policy and where it was stored and where it got the information. And then here is where we would have main mode and quick mode. Now notice there's a, a little bit more actual statistics, uh, security associations, if there are any, same thing down here. And so you can get a little bit more information actually using IP Security Monitor. You're not going to see anything with active policy, but if we actually are communicating via IPsec, then we'll see more information here. Remember, if we're trying to troubleshoot IPsec, my uh, personal advice is just to always go in and make sure that you have exempted ICMP. It makes it really easy because you can just ping from one computer to another to eliminate network connectivity as the issue. But if you're not sure and you're not ex exempting, then go stop the IPsec policy agent in services, then try to communicate before determining whether or not it's IPsec as the problem. As we've seen, we've got the IP security monitor and we've got the Windows firewall with advanced security snap-in for monitoring IPsec traffic and security associations.